Wing Surf World people. Uh, my name is Gary Siskar. I am the marketing director here at Ride Engine. And we are excited about wing surfing just as much as you guys are excited about wing surfing. So we have a couple really cool products that we're excited about that I want to show you briefly right now. The first one is a wing surfing harness. I know a lot of you right now are saying like, oh, I don't know if I want to use a harness because the reason why I got into wing surfing is that it's very minimal. All I need is a board, my foil, this wing. I can go out in my trunks and just my wetsuit or my bikini. But we know that once you get, try a harness, you'll never want to go back to not using a harness. It does a few key things for you. It allows you to be more efficient on the water and go upwind much better. It also allows you to be on the water longer to be able to rest your arms. And hey, we also want to adjust our hat, look at our watch, restart our Strava, whatever we have to do when we're logging the wing surfing hours. And if you're al always holding on to the handles, you can't do that. So this will let you let go for a while. So why is it wing surf specific? Well, it's ultra minimal, ultra low profile. So we did keep that vein of the wing surfing spirit alive because you don't need as much support as you do for a kite surfing or wind surfing harness. So nice, simple, ripstop coating a closed cell foam on the inside you just take a bit of the point loading away how this thing goes on is we have a three-part closure so it's nice and secure and creates some support and I'll actually put it on so you guys can see how this thing works so first one we'll be closing the velcro let's get that credentials out of the way the second one is wrapping through the d-ring tightening it up so it's nice and secure the next is taking the webbing slider which your sliding hook is on which we'll talk about in a second because that's very important through the fast tech lock that off double this back so that's out of the way and now you have a nice minimalist harness you'll actually forget that you're even wearing this and now you can hook in sliding why is this sliding back and forth so this is so you can get it out of the way and you can paddle on your board. We, here in Hood River, we have some areas where you have to paddle out to the wind line. If you have to have your hook stationary in the front, you're gonna ding your board, rip your EVA. Now you can slide it out of the way. The other benefit, riding tow side, you can hook in tow side and be nice and efficient and stay hooked in and make your tow siding upwind reach a lot more pleasurable overall. So that is the Vinaka. Couple last features, cause you all wanna know. We did put two outboard D-rings on the back of the harness. So you can hook um, straight to the D-ring, you can hook your board leash to this, or you can put a piece of Dyneema, string it through the, the, from the entire sides of the harness and you can have your leash slide back and forth for your board. Um, you can also hook your leash for your wing to the front of the webbing also if you enjoy having your wing leash from your waist up to the wing, which I personally like to have. So that is the Vinaka. So now you guys are like, oh, that's really cool, but maybe I want something even a little more minimal. So we have developed the Nug. The Nug is a wing serving hook that you can apply to any piece of webbing, any type of leash, waist leash that you're using and so forth with this easy installment of using a nice fin key to undo the Nug. This comes open, then you can put it on the webbing, you can put it on the dual webbing ones that say go Velcro through a D-ring. It's wide enough so it's free flowing. And now you have a nice minimalist, nice minimalist waist harness that you can take a little pressure off your arms. All right, wing surfers. We always say here at Ride Engine, it's not if you're gonna use a harness, it's when.